Never yeah. good any feet. Hello, everybody. It's Valderrama here, and I've been joined by my very special friend, Mr. Paul McGinley. Hello, Paul. How you doing, mate? I'm OK. I'm not too bad. Thank you. So, Ryder Cup captain, you must have been very honoured when that came about. Very honoured, yes. Not many people get the privilege of, of being Ryder Cup captain, and uh, I was fortunate that uh, they chose me, and I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've got a, a very good record so far in Ryder Cups. Five wins out of five uh, times being involved, three as a player, two as a vice captain, and let's see if we can make it six out of six. I think we'll be there, roaring you on. Six out of six is going to definitely happen. So here's a question for you, Mr. Paul. Um, who would play you in a movie? Uh, who would play me? Um, I don't know. I've always liked the, uh, the mafia movies from America, so uh, uh, I'd like to see somebody like um, De Niro or somebody like that. Somebody Robert really De Niro cool. is a very good answer. Somebody That's really cool. Answer. What would you think if you met yourself at a party? <laughs> um, I would like to think that I would be interesting and that I could talk on a wide variety of subjects and hopefully I wouldn't have to talk about golf because I prefer to talk about other things if there's a chance. Do you like football? Love football. Who's your football team? West Ham. Ah, West Ham. That's quite interesting. Normally people say something like Man U and um, doesn't Everybody play well says that. Now, West Ham and Celtic are my two teams and uh, growing up as a kid in Ireland, I was probably the only West Ham fan in the whole of Ireland. Everybody was Chelsea and Leeds back then and yeah, Man Leeds United fan. and Liverpool. See, you give your age away when you say Leeds. I know. Well, I'm, I'm older than I look. I'm 402 <laughs> this year. Once, I've had, once I get my hair cut, I look a bit younger. This <laughs> I wish I had hair like that at that age. Give us a, give us a tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. Did they really land on the moon? Did they really land on the moon? Do you not think so? Well, I don't know. There's all those uh, conspiracy theories, isn't there, saying that there was the shadows going this way and that way and this the other way and it doesn't look like it could be the shining of the sun going on there. And I don't know. I've got an open mind. No, I don't. I'm quite clear they've landed on the moon, no doubt about it. I'm looking forward to going to Mars. What's the next one they're going to try and get to? Mars, is it? Yeah, they're going to Mars. Yeah. Would you go up in uh, Richard Branson's spaceship? No. Nah. No, I wouldn't. I'd like, to see, uh, I'd like to see it in operation for a few years first before I go up and make sure it works. That's what, a lot of, that's what Ian Poulter said. He said he'll do a few uh, test runs and he'll have a go. Yeah, exactly, yeah. A bit like the Titanic, yeah. If you had a <laughs> test run on that, you would have been okay. So, Mr. Paul, you like the punk rock, don't you? Who's your favourite band? My favourite band was a band called uh, Stiff Little Fingers from Belfast. Yeah, uh, I remember and them. They still are, they're still touring. Um, then uh, Undertones, I like them as well too. Then Sham 69, the Buzzcocks. You know, I was a roadie for Sham 69 for oh, a couple of years. Yeah. Oh, very good. they realised I didn't have any feet and I couldn't actually do anything. <laughs> but do you like the, did you like the jam as well? They were a good band, weren't they? Yeah, they were mods, though. Do, 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 a little do, bit do, of the do, enemy. Do, 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 Okay, here's your last question. Can animals commit suicide? No. Yet to see it. Yet to hear of it, yet to see it. I've never seen a squirrel going into the bathroom with a razor blade, have you? No. Sheep and cows go off cliffs in Ireland all the time and end up in the bottom of the ocean, but I don't think that's suicide. I think that's most a case of trying to get to the grass on the edge of the cliff so they can have a bit of food and all of a sudden, bang. You never know, do you? They could be kamikaze cows. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Paul, can I say it's been an honour to meet you. You are the Ryder Cup captain, a great golfer, and we're very proud to have you on uh, the Golf Punk magazine this month. <laughs> Thank you. I love your magazine. I'll keep going. I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs>